Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Okay, people, when God start blessing you, I mean, when he start blessing you with physical things, like being able to do things that you've never done before because of your obedience, because of your obedience, because of your uh, humility, uh, you're humbling yourselves throughout all circumstances and uh, uh, you're, you're studying, you're trying your best to live right, which uh, means trying to be perfect. Uh, when you're doing all these things and you start getting your blessings, like when you when you get your physical blessings, see, we already have spiritual blessings awaiting for us in the kingdom that people don't see, but Satan no. Okay, cool. But things get hectic for Satan when God start blessing you for others to see. See, Satan gets off through people to attack your emotions. I don't know if y'all caught that. When God start blessing you with physical things in this world because of your obedience... What happens is Satan works through people because Satan is jealous. Satan would get angrier because he don't have a touch with your blessings. You got to understand what I'm saying. Let's just take, for instance, being able to travel. You have a job where you're putting up with people, places, and things. You're tolerating a lot of nonsense, shenanigans, wickedness, and you are doing your job. And remember, people, we're not talking about just being a good worker. We're talking about being an executor, meaning killing it. You're a beast as an employee at your workplace. You're satisfying God by working with all enthusiasm, meaning working from your heart. And you're doing it no matter what anybody say, no matter how they try to plot, scheme, which is what Satan is doing. Because like I said, Satan know your blessing and your reward in heaven. But when it get deep for others to see your blessing, meaning physical, it's even harder for Satan to accept. Because it's different. See, when we, we say to know that the people of the world don't understand spiritual blessings, they don't see it, they don't know it, they don't understand it, so they don't care. But when <laughs> they start seeing your blessing, that's when they start like, okay, this child is blessed. This child is obeying and wow, we want, we want that. We, you know, and so what happens is Satan see that people are ready to perform for him so he's easily mupping them by getting in their spirit to attack us meaning that satan is going to be glad to use these people to provoke us to lose our blessings satan works hard by sending us into temptation and sending us into provocation so we can lose our heavenly blessings our crown but he also works through others to for us to lose our physical blessings. Huh? You go on trips. He don't like that. Satan don't like when you're able to go on trips and go across the world. And so what Satan do? What Satan does is start sending plane crashes videos through your recommendations to try to get you discouraged to fly. Uh, Satan uh, uh, try to discourage you with Travel advisory warnings to places that you're going. Satan will try to send you into provocation at your job by getting you angry and, and trying to get you fired or trying to get you to quit. That's what Satan's job is. That's His job is to, to discourage you. That's what Satan's job is. To discourage you and to lose your blessing. Why again? Because Satan don't have a touch on your blessings. 
See, it's a difference. You got people who are rich and famous and able to do things. Maybe not even rich and famous, but they may have, you know, a, a, a good living where they can be able to travel as well, but they don't serve God. See? See, it's a, it's a difference. You got those who are doing things and getting things uh, going for themselves, and they may seem like they're blessed with physical things, but they don't serve God. Meaning that when Satan has a touch on, on the things that you're receiving, it's evil means behind it, though, people. You have to understand. People are getting getting things and doing things with evil intentions. They may get a good job, but yet they're sycophants, they're suck-ups, they're gophers, they're stealing, they're manipulating, they're embezzling. It could be anything behind that, any evil means behind what they're doing. And it may seem like they're getting away with it. It may seem like they're celebrating by driving nice cars and have nice homes and living on resorts and being able to travel to Caribbean areas and Bahamas. We're not doing that. We're not living like that. And so things may look good to others by the eye, but remember, it's a difference in being tempted by Satan with these things and being blessed by God with these things. That's the reason why God uh, takes his time with his called out ones with blessings, because it's easy to drift, o drift away from God's righteousness and live for Satan. When Satan don't have a touch of your blessings, he forces himself to get in there somewhere so he can have a touch because he's jealous. He's jealous at the next person's shine, at the next person's blessing, their glow. Now, mind you, Satan can do this for everybody else too, so why he worrying about your blessing? Because yours is with good means. And you are truly happy. You are truly happy and you're truly blessed and you have peace within yourself. When Satan is over here dealing with everybody else who got the same thing you have, but these people are miserable and their evil means behind their ble their their gifts, I just say, because they're not blessings. And you over there doing the same thing, but it's with more uh, of a bigger Thing. It's a bigger blessing behind what you're doing and it's of righteousness. So you're more glowing and you're more happy. You're more satisfied and everybody can see that and they envy it. But wait a minute. We're going to the same place and we're doing the same thing. Why are you turning your nose up at me? See, because it's a spiritual thing behind it. I keep trying to tell people every called out one, everything we do, everything we say, everything that we go by in life has a spiritual means behind it, just like those who don't serve God. Most of the time, everything they do have evil means behind it because of Satan. It's a difference. You have to understand this. So, when you are serving God and you are being obedient, you're, you're serving God with perseverance, no matter who, what, when, why, well. Huh? When you do that and it's time for you to receive your blessings, others who work for Satan is not going to like that. Satan himself is not going to like it. And he's going to ask God to help destroy your blessings. So people, we have to watch that. We have to watch how people may tempt us into provocation because we can lose our blessings when we fall into this nonsense temptation. When we fall into it, God is like, oh, no, no. So we have to run and repent. We have to run and pray. We have to run and fast. We have to do these things. We have to run and study our Bible so we can stay in righteousness with God. So we can continue to live right, live at peace, and also receive blessings. Who don't want to receive blessings? Who don't want to receive blessings? You know, we're living for 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 an ultimate purpose. You know, we're we're serving God and we're living for His ultimate purpose. 
But we want we want good things too in the world. We want to be able to travel. We want to be able to, you know, live in a nice home or something, a nice apartment. If we can't get a home, we want to live with content too. We want to live peacefully. We want to live without needing people, needing money. We want to be able to do things and be comfortable. And the, and the only thing we need is God Almighty. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to have to live like where I'm going to end up needing the government to help me. I don't want to end up, up having things where it's only temporarily and then I got to pay this and I got to pay that and I got to wait and all this because I'm not able to have the whole thing because I'm short and all that. No, I want to be able to have a job where I don't stress about paying my bills. I can't have uh, my bills paid because I'm not making enough hours. I'm not making enough money. No. I want to be able to buy the things I need. I want to have enough to be able to help the next person. That's what I want. I want to be able to have enough to help others. And that's what I pray for. And when God see fit to give you those type of blessings, Satan's sitting in the cut with his eye looking at you like, okay, I'm going to have to stop that. Nah, because I don't have nothing to do with that. And she's not willing to backslide for me. So I'm going to have to go over here and do some overtime and try to get her to uh, get discombobulated with serving God so she can come on over here. And that's how a lot of people backslide in life. That's how a lot of people lose their salvation. So we got to be careful. And I'm talking about those who are, who are watching these videos and who are willing to, uh, who have repent and who are willing to live in righteousness and train living perfect. I'm telling y'all, when God said, when Jesus said, try to live perfect, try to live perfect, meaning trying your best to live right. Even throughout temptation, when people try to provoke you, you you're, you're ignoring it. Or if you get so hot-headed about what's going on, you got to walk away instead of knocking somebody out. Or instead of shooting somebody, you're walking away. No matter what they think or see about it, you know what you're doing and you know why you've done it. And you and God approves that. Huh? God approves when you uh, get attacked. And you consciously, because of thinking about God, you decide to humble yourself. See, he approves of that. He approves of that. Because Satan is the one that's trying to provoke you. But when you think about God and all you do is keep humble and walk away and lash out in your car, lash out at home. When you do that, God is proud of you. And so what happens is when you pass these, te these test levels, he start blessing you. Because you was able to handle that level. So he say, okay, well, I'm going to give you this. You pray for this with good means. It's my will. Boom. And then you got to be killed because we're going to be going to certain levels. We're preparing for the kingdom at the same time while living on this earth. So he will bless us with things for the enjoyment of life. But we got to be careful because we're still going to be tested. It's not over with at that, at that level. It's not over with. It's not over with till Yeshua come back. Remember, all the way to Yeshua come back, we're going to be tested. And we're going to be at these levels, at these levels, preparing for the kingdom. When Yeshua come back, it's going to be, oh, whew, thank you. That's when the time to come for us to shout and celebrate. And when we make it, then we're going to be part of the kingdom. That's when all this stuff is going to end, y'all. I'm telling you, that's the reason why I say I'll be glad when Jesus come back. Others who don't understand God and his purpose and Yeshua's purpose of coming back, they don't understand that. When I say that, they're like, yeah, when he come back, they not glad because they not ready. They don't understand and they're not ready and they're afraid that they're not going to have eternal life. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? But see, with these videos, I'm studying telling people to repent. So you could be ready for when Yeshua come back. And when you receive understanding and the mysteries on what that means when Yeshua come back, then you too will be glad too when Jesus come back. <laughs> Shalom.